Well, there's there's several different restorative options with implant. You know, it depends on the on the case. You know, uh, I think most of the cases today are people uh, that are missing one or two teeth. And um, we no longer have, you know, let's say bridge work as our first option. Um, you may or may not know what a bridge is, but we used to cut the teeth on either side of the space and would make a fake tooth in the middle. And we would, you know, that would be our probably most conventional uh, option back 10, 15 years ago. Uh, nowadays, we don't. We don't want to do that. We don't want to take a one tooth problem or one space problem and turn it into a three tooth problem all of a sudden cutting two good teeth down and uh, you know provide an answer that way what we want to do is to rebuild that site whatever it needs if it needs to grow the bone back we do the grow you know we grow the bone back and then we place an implant which will work as the root of the missing tooth and we put a you know single crown or a single restoration right above it and create and reformat that full arch dentition that the, that the person had at one point. And that's really the, the beauty of it. You want to enhance. You don't want to destroy. Uh, or, again, patients who are partially edentulous, you know, or they have, they're totally edentulous, now they can have, we can make it as, as complex as they would like. We can, we can reestablish the whole arch with implants or we can go halfway there and, and create an implant retained prosthesis for them. And uh, it all depends on, on where they are. Every case is different. Uh, and what the patient wants and, and how old they are, you know, what is the quality of the life and how much, how much do we want to enhance. That's why that initial patient interview is very important to me. I really need to understand what is it that they want before I provide the solution.